staring out my window All these people I don't know Wondering where did you go Cause I don't see your face around here anymore Remembering when it would seem Like all your love was for me Now you've left me lonely Cause I don't see your face around here anymore And I can still recall the day when you walked out the door And I don't know why Hi guys, it's Lauren and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a guinea pig taco So right now as you can see my guinea pigs kind of broke theirs right now But um, just stay tuned for the video if you guys want to see how to make a really cute taco um, It will not look like this <laughs> But yeah, they just kind of destroyed theirs so yeah, but stay tuned if you want to see how to make it. And just for a um, disclaimer, I did not steal this idea from anyone. I came up with it with with <laughs> I came up with it. I don't even oh whatever. I came up with it by myself. So um, I haven't seen anyone else make something like this. But if you guys have, I wasn't trying to copy them. I just thought my guinea pigs might like it, and I thought it kind of looked cute. So yeah. Things you will be needing are broccoli, a knife, some carrots, um, preferably tomatoes, but I don't have any as of right now, so I'm just going to use a cucumber, and then some romaine lettuce. You're going to start off by taking a leaf of romaine, and you're just going to want to cut it in the shape of a taco shell, so I'll show you that. So you want it to look something like this, um, but you want to make sure that there's enough room like on the edges to hold the stuff in place and keep a hold of your extras because we will be needing these. So for the meat of the taco we're going to be using broccoli but you don't want to use too much broccoli this is all I'll be using for each taco because um, broccoli you shouldn't give it too much to your guinea pigs and when you do you should just give a small amount because it can be very gassy for them and also can loosen up their stools and other problems like that so yeah just only use a little bit of broccoli so I chopped it up like this to look like taco meat and then I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the bottom of our taco and you may not actually need this much just as much as you feel that's right I feel about like that might be right so whatever you feel Sorry about if you hear the dogs barking, but with those with those leftovers of romaine, you're just going to want to cut them up really small. So you only actually need just a little bit, and you're just going to also put that on top. But you don't want to cover up all the broccoli, because or else you won't, really won't be able to see the meat. Broccoli meat, I guess. <laughs> so since I really don't have tomatoes, but I really recommend using tomatoes, it'll make it look more like a taco. But since I don't, I decided to do this video, so I don't have any tomatoes right now. So I'm just going to cut this up to sort of look like tomatoes, I guess. Like little pieces and little triangles. So I'm just going to keep doing that. So your veggie taco should look something like this right now. Now we're going to take a carrot and we're going to shred it, and this will look like cheese. So now I'm going to be taking that and placing it on my taco as cheese, like that. And there you have it, your little veggie taco is done. And like I said, this would look much better if you had tomatoes. It'll bring in a lot more color than just green. So please use tomatoes, but also getting people to not have enough, a lot tomatoes. So try to use little bits, kind of like I did with the cucumber. Maybe even a little bit smaller. Um, I only gave them a little bit of cucumber because they got a lot last night. Because I will have another video up on what I made them last night. That used quite a bit of cucumber. So, yeah. Bye. So, I hope your your guys' guinea pigs enjoy the, um, this as much as mine did. And as you can see, with Dakota's taco, he kind of flung it everywhere. So, it might make a mess. But Theodore's just tipped his. But, whatever. It's cute. If you guys have any other suggestions on um, foods that you think I should try to make for guinea pigs out of veggies, please leave them down below. I have some other ones that will be up. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and please request for...